All right, guys, welcome back. So today we're going to be using Jeremy Stevens, and he has a co-main event fight tomorrow night against Jaycar Klaus, and I'm really rooting for him, man. He's on a four-fight losing streak, and I'm just, I don't know, I'm, I'm just really hoping he wins because I've grown up watching Jeremy Stevens, you know, and he's had some success in his career. You know, there's times he's went on win streaks. There's other times he's went on losing streaks. But I feel if he loses this fight, he's probably going to be let go. And uh, I just like his style, man. You know, he's like he can be a technical striker at times, but for the most part, man, he just wants he just wants to put hands on you. And uh, this is a interesting matchup, even though my opponent's Division 15. You gotta take him seriously. It doesn't matter what division ends. I feel you can still be a good player. So, and he picked uh, a year. These, these two actually fought. And if you saw, if you saw the first fight, actually, you know, it ended in a controversial eye poke. You know, in the first like five seconds. But the second fight, man. I kind of feel bad that it wasn't a five round fight because Jeremy Stevens was starting to come back. He survived hell in the second round of that fight. If you go back and watch that fight, he, he survived hell. He, year landed this nasty body kick. He dropped him, jumped all over him, and just, you know, it was all downhill from there until the third round. Jeremy Stevens actually took him down the third round and he was doing some, some pretty good damage. So if that fight, you know, had another two rounds, who knows? But, you know, that's the thing about uh, MMA. Can't, you, know, you can't always count on the what ifs. But I got to focus on this fight. This guy's already tagging my body up. So I got to try to, I got to try to match that a little bit. I'm going to try to go to his body too. Let's see if I can dump him. Nice. That takes down some short-term stamina. And I just kind of went on him just to see what he would do there. He's going to go up. So if I get a chance, I will go to the ground a little bit. Because I know a year probably doesn't have the best ground game. He's one fighter I haven't really used. So so this guy's throwing a lot of feints. So I looked at Jeremy Stevens' moveset. And he has a level 4 overhand. He has a level 4 straight. A level 4 uppercut. Um, a level 4 rear hook and a level 4 uh, rear leg kick and calf kick. Ooh, this guy's tagged my body, but he's landing those kicks a little too close, so it's negating some of the damage. But I gotta be careful. Landing that lead hook. Let's punch him up because he's starting to pressure me a little bit. Oh, dropped him with the uppercut. That's one thing I do against guys that. If I feel like I'm being pushed back too much, you know, I'll clinch him. And right there, I kind of, kind of put myself in this position. I backed up, but that's all right. I'm trying to counter just a little bit. Ooh, I gotta watch out. He's gonna. Oh, nice body kick. But yeah, man. Let me know if you guys are a fan of Jeremy Stevens. Let me know if you're not. I just like that smash smash style, man. He's just, you know, he is who he is. But, and I just really hope he does well, man. I really hope he wins. And, you know, if this is one of his last fights, like I said, I hope he does, you know, I hope he ends on a high note. Ooh, this guy. This guy's gaining some ground, so I gotta kinda shut that down. I'm gonna watch that he's pulling, but I feel like that was my round. It's so hard to talk and commentate. I mean, uh, play and commentate. I'm trying to focus on this fight while I'm talking about Jeremy Stevens, man. So let's uh, let's focus on this, and then we'll talk more about him. Ooh, surprised that didn't rock me. Sidestep so that. The body. I am doing some body damage, I can just tell. I have to be. 
Oh, yeah, I can tell by the animations. Oh, that was nice. One two body kick. I pulled that, but I could not. I couldn't capitalize and dump him. Pinch him off. Get the body. That's one of my main favorite combos. Uh, to go with the body, the uh, the rear uppercut to the body, followed by the lead hook to the body. I hit him with that switch kick, but let's try to dump him. Oh, block that one. Ooh, he almost got him with that front kick. That was nice. Try to throw something a little unconventional there, that, that lead overhand. All right. Oh, rocked him with the rear uppercut. See if I can get him. I hate that he can go much faster. It's just it's crazy to me. Put the body there. Try to faint and go to the body. Yeah, these body kicks are going to pay off with these body shots. Well, I'm trying to land the overhand, but it's just not there. Yeah, he's starting to block his body now. His hands are dropping a little low. I'm trying to catch him on a pole, but there's just nothing there. I gotta try to duck some of these hooks too. These thrown. Oh, good thing I didn't duck right there. But if you can catch someone on a pole, you can do quite a bit of damage. Oh, those gonna go hook. He went head kick. That was, you know, pure luck on my part that I was looking to duck the hooks, and this is it. That is it. He should have just tried to block, man. I feel like he probably had at least a good enough block to survive that, but he was trying to post. So. What I'll do in that situation, if I get dropped like that, you know, I'll try to post maybe the first like post or slip the first two shots but if that doesn't work i'll just go to my block and you know depending where you are in the fight you should have enough block to you know survive but you know it is what it is we we're able to get him out of there he was tagging me up man all respect to this player but yeah let me know in the comments if you guys are a fan of Jer uh jeremy stevens i mean if you're not, just that's fine. That's fine. But this guy, man, he's fought in everybody. He's fought in everybody from, you know, Calvin Cater. He's fought Zabit. He's fought Jose Aldo. You know, Josh Emmett, Frankie Edgar. You know, Max Holloway, Charles Oliveira. He's he's fought in the who's who, man. There's no there's no shame, you know, in in his career but anyway guys let me know if you're looking forward to seeing him fight and uh yeah let's uh let's try to get 500 subs we're almost there we got 11 more to go so if you're new please hit that subscribe button but most of all guys have a good day and i'll see you in the next one